and the possible game so today we are going to be talking about the top five upcoming games on the mobile and before i get to the video this is based on what i think are the top five upcoming games coming out on the mobile so not to make anybody angry but this is what i think so let's get straight to the video number five Pascal's Wager is a 3D action RPG game with a dark vibe. A dark vibe which kind of reminds me of games like Dark Souls. But the game also doesn't really remind me of Dark Souls. It also reminds me of a very popular PS Vita exclusive game which was called Soul Sacrifice. In fact, if you notice in the soundtrack and I'm using or the song or the music for the game it is the soul sacrifice soundtrack the game really just reminds me of soul sacrifice a lot so maybe the game storyline will be based on the original philosophy which was made up by Pascal, who is a philosopher, French mathematician, and the philosophy was also called Pascal's Wager, which talks about the um, human being believing in God or not believing in God. I suspect that's what the storyline will be made of. Maybe the name of the character believing not believing in God, and then some shit happens. But let's wait for the game to come out before we talk about that. Number 4 What on this list is H1Z1 Well, I'm a fan of Battle Royale games So that's why I love the fact that they are bringing H1Z1 to mobile And also, the fact that they are bringing more popular games to mobile Could this mean that we could be seeing more storyline driven games Or more better multiplayer games like Battlefield or Call of Duty, the mobile system, or even Destiny. I'm just saying that this could happen the way they bring you popular games like even PUBG and even Fortnite to the mobile system. I just hope one day we could see a very good Call of Duty or very good or very good Call of Duty or very good Battlefield multiplayer driven or storyline and multiplayer driven game on the Android system. Number 3 This list is Ocean On 2 Ocean On 1 was like one of the best adventure puzzle platform edge games that I had ever played on the mobile It is a lot like Zelda but it does it well It is not just some ripoff of Zelda but it is its own game It seems like the part 2 of this of Ocean World seems to have gotten a big update in graphics and gameplay. I just hope the fact that this game looks much more better in graphics, I hope it does not take it away, take away from the gameplay or the storyline because we all know sometimes producers try to make a game look too good and they don't have budget for the story and the gameplay. But if they do this game right, this could be the breath of the wild for the mobile ecosystem.
Number 2. This list is black desert. The fact is that this game just looks awesome. Like it is just awesome looking. Plus, this also shows the power of the mobile system. It shows that the mobile can take games like this. And I think showing that the mobile can take powerful games like this could bring much more advanced games to the mobile. Games like I said before, games like maybe games like um, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Destiny, or even better storyline driven games like Age or even The Elder Scrolls. Yes, yeah, so the way everything is going, we may be getting a very good Elder Scrolls or Dragon Age game coming to the mobile ecosystem. I know people are like, what about um, Elder Scrolls Blade that is coming out December? No, that game doesn't look like it is going to give us a full open world RPG experience. I'm talking about bringing uh, a much more better full experience open world game like maybe Elder Scrolls 5 or a different kind of Elder Scrolls 5 with a different storyline because that game has been popular so much. Even though it's a mini, a mini version that doesn't really give us that um, um, Elder Scrolls graphics but even though they can still reduce the graphics and make a mini version of it that is even though it's not really that big but big enough like a mobile version a portable version for the mobile ecosystem that really makes sense but at least if they're bringing it out it should give us full experience not uh half experience or quarter experience but a full open world elder scroll ish or dragon age ish experience like the full experience, like the full possible version of the game. Number one. One on this list is Raven's World Legacy. This is my number one game on this list. Well, what can I say because of the old games? The old games or the old game which I played, I don't know if there was another one before this one, which was called Ravens World Shadowlands. Ravens World Shadowlands was so good that it reminded me of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. It was lit when I just played the game, I was like, whoa, this is just Skyrim on the mobile system like i was just so amazed the game gave me great gameplay great fighting engine or great fighting abilities or great fighting attributes i don't know what to talk about say about the fight and the fighting or the actions that your character do a really awesome great open world the open world was an empty and lifeless even though they didn't really have that much budget for the game crescent moon you could still notice some patches or some bugs from the game but the game was still beautiful and it gave me a great story and it gave me some interesting side quests that I wanted to do and most importantly an interesting storyline and as you can see for this game the game looks good but it doesn't look like the old game the old game kind of gave you that Skyrim or Elder Scrolls ish 3D look but now I see that they are following their own line of graphics or their own style or their own art style and graphics to the fact that they are, they are using probably graphics from games in the game, last game they created which I think was more fight. I think that was the last game they created or the last big game they created and more fight was really awesome and really beautiful and this game also is also using that more fight ish cube ish of graphics but still manage to look awesome in a medieval setting or medieval fantasy world and it's still very amazing and wonderful and I hope the game turns out to be awesome because they have just only showed us some things about the game and it still really looks awesome and beautiful 
they showed some gameplay i think in the last gdc they showed us a little bit of gameplay but they said it was on finished work now we're still waiting for the game i don't know the announced date as you can see in throughout this entire video i did not mention the announced date for all these games because i was not sure about them the same thing for ravens world legacies